Alright guys, so now I'm going to be telling you guys how to level up your crafters and your gatherers. Um, this is more of a daily thing and it takes... It's the equivalent of the roulette, um, level roulette and whatnot, in terms of crafting and gathering. So you, first off, you're going to want to be level 20. You're going to want to um, join a grand company. It does not matter which one. But for this sake, um, since I joined Immortal Flames, I'm going to show you guys that one. From there, you're going to want to at least unlock maybe three or four of your crafters slash gatherers, and you're going to want to get them up to five, six. It doesn't really matter. From there, of course, the more the better, by the way. It, trust me, this is the best way to level up these things daily. You're going to want to go to your officer, and you'll unlock this thing called Undertake Supply and Provisioning Missions. So from here, you're going to see all these things, right? And it's just various weapons, armors, whatnot. And then you're going to see provisioning, which is all stuff that you get um, by gathering. So it may not make a lot of sense, and a lot of people kind of overlook it. But I mean, I'll tell you right now, I'll probably get every single one of my gatherers to level up, and I don't even have to switch to the class. And I mean, I'm not even kidding. So you guys want to do... If you're on PC, the hotkey for it is Control then U, and you're gonna see this. Um, yeah, this is like a whole bunch of um, the time missions and whatnot. You're gonna want to go to the next mission allowance. Go ahead and exit that. And you're gonna see this here. You could take a picture of it, a mental picture of it, or you can keep it up. I mostly just keep it up. And you're gonna want to go to your nearest um, marketplace. Uh, not the market board, but you know the armorer, the field craft merchant, where all those guys are stacked up. So, once you go there, um, and by the way, I recommend doing this after you have done your level roulette and you try roulette. Uh, if you don't have that and just have level roulette, that's fine. Because, I mean, the higher level R you are, the more kill you're going to have to spend. But, I mean, it's less than maybe 2,000 gil a day. I have all mine up to around 30, so it's going to be a little bit more expensive for me. But, so, Ash Composite Bow. I mean, like I said, we're going to really knock this out here in less than five minutes. It is really, really easy. So, first off, you're going to want to go to the Independent Arms Merchant. So, this is level 20. This is level 40. Uh, the Cobalt Knuckles I actually have to make. Um, but the Ash Composite Bow. All right, level 28. War Arms. Level 20. Scroll down to Archer. Ash Composite Bow. Buy. Uh, it's 3,000 gil. Like I said, since it's a little bit more leveled up on my end, things are going to be a little bit more exp or expensive. Alright, so that's the first one. The Cobalt Knuckles, um, once you hit around level 40, this method doesn't work that well, but up until, I mean, 5 to 40, it's just going to carry you. So, the Engraved Hard Leather Grimoire. There's another one. It's level 20. That is a magic arm. And then we're going to go to level 20. And by the way, if you ever forget, you can just do Control u again, and then going to pop up while you are talking to the merchant. So it is the engraved hard leather grimoire. We're going to go ahead and buy that. And then we're going to look over here. So it's the heavy iron iron flanchard, which is this is all um, the cobalt preserves are actually the once again they have to be crafted. But the battlecraft because this these um, my blacksmith and my goldsmith are all level 40. So, like I said, it pretty much only works up to 40. Um, if you guys just want to do this fast method. Heavy Iron Flanchard, that is level 25, and that is um, legs, and then this eye patch is level 20, and that's head. So, we're going to knock two out here. So, we're going to go to War, level 20. And then the Goatskin Eye Patch. And then we're going to go down to Legs, Heavy Iron Flanchard. So, I mean, it is really as simple as that. Um, so we've already, you know, done four of them. Um, this is another one I missed. Uh, Velveteen Sorrel. War. And then that's level 25 legs, so 20, 29. Going to go down to legs, and we're going to find this. The Velveteen Sorrel. So there, there's five of them. Um... The antelope stew you can sometimes buy at the pot watch. If it's not there, I mean, it really doesn't matter. Those things are pretty easy to craft. Um, but, yeah. So, it's not there today. It doesn't really matter. Not too big of a deal. So, the cobalt knuckles um, 
I'll show you guys how to craft that anyways. But basically, what you're going to want to do after buying all of whatever the list says, you're going to want to go back to the spot where you first accepted the provisioning. Um, that, like I said, that is the your your guild hall. So, or your grand company hall. Sorry about that. And you're just going to want to turn in everything you got and just watch. It is just ridiculous XP. Um, for gathering, you could buy it off the market board if you really don't want to gather it, but for gathering, it is one of those that I actually recommend gathering, because gathering, you can net a lot of XP from gathering it. Um, or crafting, it may cost some extra gill in order to do all that. And not to mention, these on the, like this on the market board, I got it for, what, like 3,000? It's going to be like 7,000 on the market board, especially since we're a small server here in Solera. So, like I said, I just finished most of these. Um, I'll go back and craft the other ones that are 40 and above, and I didn't even change to the class. So you're going to go back to him, undertake, and then just right click, hand over. Look at that, 21,000 XP. This one's 19. 15. 19. And then that's 13. So, just like that, I mean, if you look, I got all of those, and it's, I have, okay, so like that, what was the, um, Carpenter, I think I got, what, like 40,000, and look, it's 140,000, um, Armorer, I got, so if, basically, if you do that just once a day, I mean, you're gonna level up at least one class, mostly, and, okay, so Alchemist, I got 15, and it's out of 63, so just from that, I mean, just from that one turn in alone, you're going to get a lot of XP. And if you do it just three times in a week, you're going to level up that class. So that's the best way to level up crafters in a fast way. Um, if you actually want to go about and craft them, that's fine too. But you're going to want to uh, make sure that if you do do that, risk it for high quality. Because high quality will double your net XP. And these stars, uh, some of you guys may be wondering what they are, those are basically like the items of the day. And if you turn those in, you automatically get a double XP bonus. So yes, if you do, if I turn in these high quality cobalt knuckles, I will be getting about, you know, what is that? 200% of the XP that it, it was to turn in. I mean, that's enough for a level. Uh, it's just, it's nuts. So yeah, that's the best way to go about it. Um, of course, for gathering, you could always use Gamer Escape, which I'll link in the description. And that is your going to be your, your Bible, basically, for finding out where all the items are at. It will give you the exact X, Y coordinates. And yeah, so that's pretty much it. Um, that is the best and fastest way to level up crafters and gatherers on the daily. And it nets your FC a lot of FC points. Um, so yeah, that's always good too, because they could buy you bonuses and whatnot. So that's pretty much it. If you guys have any questions, as you guys know, just let me know, and I will see you guys later.